It's going to be a brief update, but we do understand the severity of this incident and the concern that our communities rightly have. And so we want to share with you what we have at this moment. Uh, what I can tell you at this moment was approximately 15 minutes ago, uh, the subject that we were looking for, the person of interest, Robert Cremo III, uh, was spotted by a North Chicago unit uh, at Buckley in 41, his vehicle, the vehicle that we were looking for. Uh, he uh, initiated, uh, attempted to initiate a traffic stop on that subject. That subject did flee. Uh, a brief pursuit uh, was, uh, had, went on. Uh, ultimately, they were able to get the subject stopped uh, at Wesley in 41 in Lake Forest. Uh, the subject was taken into custody without incident. So at this point, I again want to reiterate, uh, things are moving very quickly, as they do, unfortunately. And we just want to keep you updated with the most uh, relevant information. The person of interest is now being taken to the Highland Park Police Department, where we're going to begin the, um, you know, the next phase of the investigation and speak with this person to make sure or see if, in fact, he is connected to this incident. So that's really where we're at right now. I would say, um, barring anything significant coming out of that interview, this probably would be our last uh, press conference for this evening. We'll see how things go, um, but not sure how that's all going to work out. As you know, it's a, a work in progress. So please uh, bear with us and let, let the process play out. Appreciate it. I can take any quick questions, but I may not have the information because we're talking 15 minutes. Was there a chase at all? There was a, a brief pursuit, absolutely. Brief pursuit. A brief pursuit. High speed? Uh, I don't have the speeds. How were officers able to get him to stop? He ultimately came to a stop. The person of interest that we're talking about here is... Robert, Robert Cremo the third. That is correct. The person we came out initially and gave you the information on. He, that he, stop ended at Wesley 41? Wesley 41. Who spotted him? It was a North Chicago police officer who was stationed on 41 with his eyes open. And what would it take for this person of interest to be referred to as a suspect? Uh, again, yeah, we're going to have to positively connect them to the scene, and, and really we want to do our due diligence. You know, we put the name out there. We want to make sure we have uh, a number of things that would imply that, you know, this is a good person of interest, but in, uh, you know, due deference, we want to make sure, and you all understand that. We want to make sure that we're following the process and doing everything we need to do uh, to bring this to a successful conclusion. You know, was he alone? Yeah, at this point, I can't just, that's where we're at. Do you know if he was alone? Uh, I don't know that answer. Okay. He was spotted in North Chicago. North Chicago on Wesley 41. In Lake Forest. That is correct. Oh, you say Wesley. 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 Yes. Wesley. Oh, L-E-I-G-A. -E -E. Nice, Justin. Correct. All right. So, again, unless something significant happens tonight, you know, we're going to let the process play out. We are still continuing to process any information that's coming in. We certainly want to make sure that if anybody's got information, video, or anything of that nature, to please. This, this doesn't necessarily mean it's over, but we're certainly... Uh, we're encouraged that we have a person of interest, but again, we're, we're going to pursue and continue to pursue everything that comes in. So thank you very much. We'll, we'll advise you if there's going to be another uh, press update. And just to reiterate one thing the chief said, uh, it, to name a person of interest doesn't come lightly. There is a lot of investigative work that has gone into this. Uh, we've got as mentioned before, hundreds of investigators here on scene from our federal partners, uh, Highland Park Police, Lake County Major Crime, doing an incredible job. They've processed a significant amount of uh, digital evidence today, which uh, helped uh, lead investigators uh, in this direction. So calling somebody a suspect or per person of interest, it's really synonymous, okay? So uh, this individual uh, is believed to have been responsible for what happened, and the investigation will continue. Charges have not been approved yet at this time, and we're a long way from that. There's still a long uh, investigation, and there are a lot of efforts that are going to continue tonight. So uh, if we have more information later on, we will certainly update the media so it can get out to the community. Which agency can you spell actually the captured the suspect? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Which agency actually arrested Cremate? So North Chicago Police initially spotted the vehicle. They called in reinforcements, and a number of area police officers responded to that scene, and it was a collaborative effort to take them into custody. Okay? okay.